three. One of the most sought out. These things look amazing. Thank you very much. Have a good one. You guys as well. Be safe. All right, guys, let's go get the box. We got our rubbing alcohol. We're going to spray that thing down and bring it in. Hey, Zoe, what are you doing? Huh? We got a box to spray down before it goes in the house. Time to spray this box down with some rubbing alcohol. 91% just in case. Inside this box, we got one of the most sought out after pieces of coral in the hobby. Let's unbox it. We are pulling them out, guys. Let's do it. Let's do it. We'll check that out as we go. Heat pack is warm. Now we got some epic pieces of coral inside of here. Oh man, that one is awesome. They're all awesome. Let's just face it. <laughs> These things look amazing. One, two, three, four, and five. That one's going to sink. <laughs> So while the corals are getting used to the water temperature, got something special for all you guys. But there is going to be a code to use that gets you $15 off of your guys' orders of coral from Royal NY Reefers. We'll go over that in just a little bit. Time to get the corals out of the tank. One. Man, I'm so excited. This is just, oh, this is just fantastic. This is just fantastic. Oh man, wait till you guys see these corals, man. Just wait till you see them. All right, here we go with these amazing corals, guys. Oh man, Whew. I've got to tell you, I am beyond excited for what I'm about to see. I'm just going to use this knife all I got to say is just wait until you guys see these coral five pieces. They are stunning, man. All right, so you can see we got some torch coral. One of these is a very high end. And the other ones, I believe, are high-end as well. These are now acclimated to the water chemistry. I just poured a little bit of water in at a time until we got to the top. Getting ready to get these corals dipped for any potential pests. Part of the process. So they've had some time to soak in the dip. So I'm going to go and pick these up by the plugs. Just give them little shakes. And of course... I like to scrub the skeleton of all the corals that I get, which is something I like to do. If you guys haven't seen this, this is a denture brush. What's really nice about it is it has this small point too. So when you got areas that you want to be careful of, you can uh, use the small brush and not have to switch out brushes. This is a perfect example. So this coral, it's small on the edges here. This. I would be touching the flesh. I don't want to do that. There you go. All right, so we're going to go through the rest of the coral now and just give the skeletons a little scrub just in case anything from being in the solution loosened them up. Just trying to get as many potential pests off of these corals. It takes a little bit of time, but it's worth it. Now I'm using some water from the base dirt from the container and kind of getting a little bit of water on them. I would recommend to be very gentle with it. That's how I was doing it um, because we don't want to stress these corals out any more than they are from being shipped. So just take your time. Right over there, you see me with the bone cutters. What I was doing was just cutting away some of the excess glue that was there from being on the frag plug. You'll see that right here. That's exactly what I'm doing is just grabbing those cutters and cutting that off so it mounts on the new plugs better. Definitely worth to give it a scrub on the bottom as well. Oh my back. Now we put the coral on the new plugs. 
Now I had a comment on a previous video that someone said if you dip this in the salt water, like you let it sit in there for just a smidge, that it starts to like harden it or whatever, and then it makes it a lot easier for the coral to stick to it. And just place it. All right, so getting them all put on their plugs now using the super glue gel. I still need to invest in the spray that helps them harden faster. But so far this has been working out okay. Now one thing I do like to do as well is after you place them on there, you may notice because the bottoms aren't perfectly flat, I like to get the glue and just do a little bit more on the outside edge up against the skeleton just so it just gives it a better chance of not falling off of the plug. Just like I'm doing right here. A little bit of extra work, but I like to do it. Now the fun part comes getting the coral that went through the whole quarantine process of getting them dipped and scrubbed and put on new plugs is getting them into the tank so that they settle in to the environment, all of the different parameters and all that good stuff. Plus, obviously, once they're in an aquarium that's being filtered, everything does well. So I cannot wait to see these corals open up all right let's let's do this guys let's check them out all right we got one torch coral right here obviously it is nowhere near open we got this torch nowhere near open we got this one nowhere near open and we got this one nowhere near open and let's see here that one right there that is a green goniopora here are the coral as they stand what we're going to do is let a day or two go by to see how the torches are going to do and the goniopora so we will be back in a couple of days man oh man let's take a look at these corals everybody first we'll start off with the one in the back the green one that is a neon goniopora absolutely beautiful um got lots of movement to it and it's like um they call it a flower pot coral i mean that thing is awesome now we're going to come forward to the torches. We'll go left to right. This is a Hulk torch coral. Look at the green on this guy. You know why they named it Hulk? Just beautiful. Then right over here, this guy is a radioactive torch. Just insane. Man, oh man. Next in line is this guy. They call it the blueberry torch. It's purple, stems with blue points on it. Looks phenomenal. I mean, look at that. And then we'll come over to this guy. This is one of the most sought out corals. This is a dragon soul torch. Look at this, the movement. Just everything about this thing is just incredible. I gotta tell you guys, Ralph at Royal NY Reefers, man, knocked it out of the park with these torch corals and the Ganeopora. Absolutely stunning. Stunning, stunning, stunning. So we'll actually take a quick peek of the other ones as well. So the top left one, that is a Blasto. That one and the one right next to it, which is another type of Ganeopora, those two corals are not from Ralph at Royal NY Reefers. The rest of these corals, I got all from Ralph. Check them out. I mean, the acans, just the colors, everything about them is beautiful. Now that Blasto back there is one of my favorite coral that I got from him. Just incredible. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I bought all these corals. I paid for them. Just loving the new corals. In the description, don't forget, I got a link to Ralph's website where you guys can take a look at what he's got. And I mean, just phenomenal. Man, these things are just insane. So if you go to his website and then at checkout, you can type in Paul15 in the code section and you'll get $15 off the order. So it's Paul15, Paul is all capital. Yeah, guys, check it out. I mean, very affordable corals. Shipping is anything $249 and under, shipping's 40 bucks. If you spend $250 or more, shipping is free. Man, just 
the movement is just mesmerizing. Got to do a top-down shot when you're looking at coral as well. Look at these guys, man. Look at that Ganeopora, the green one that I got from Ralph. Just look at that. These things are absolutely phenomenal. I'm going to have to grab that watermelon acan right there. It's got some algae growing on it, on the bone structure. So I'm going to clean that guy off. And this acan, the three head, it's like red orange on the left side. That guy is splitting. It looks like I got one, two, three, four, five new heads growing on it, which is, man, that's cool. Uh, but I mean, just look at these guys, man. Look at these corals. Man, man, oh man. I got the pump off still, just take a look at these guys, just how long the tentacles are and everything. I mean, the dragon soul, the tentacles on this guy, look at that, they're touching the frag rack. It's just all leaning. I mean, this guy's tentacles are insane. And then the Ganeopora back there, look at that thing. Getting coral is so much fun. I am so excited to have these new corals here. Again, if you guys are interested in checking out Ralph's website, it'll be in the description. Take a look. And if you use Paul15 at checkout, you'll get $15 off your order. Take a look at it, guys. I know you guys are gonna love what you see. I mean, look at these guys. So anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you could comment down below, like the video. Uh, also, subscribe and hit that notification bell. We're going to have more things going on here in the saltwater fish room, I guess you could call it, because, well, there's three tanks in here. Um, it's it's good times. It's, it's fun and all that good stuff. So, again, thanks for watching. Stay tank.